After spending over three hours lighting the invisible man, it was time to become him. I'd like to believe the process would have been faster had I had a subject, but that's immaterial. I check my monitor to make sure I'm in focus. The peaking feature is particularly helpful here because autofocus doesn't necessarily work the way that you would expect, especially when shooting with a DSLR. And there's nothing that would frustrate me more than to go back and review my footage just to find that it was fuzzy. Though I put a lot of thought into this experiment, I quickly realize I didn't put enough thought into what I would do when I actually stepped into it. What do I do? Staring at the camera isn't interesting enough. Actors move. I can't just stand and stare. I need to see how the light behaves throughout a range of movements. But what movements do I do? I realize that I haven't had any water for at least an hour. Perhaps a ridiculous look would help. Some raised eyebrow accusational pose. Making yourself look bigger than you are by putting your hands on your hips. I'm already frustrated. Maybe I'll act intimidating. Maybe I'll stare down the camera as if I were some menacing figure. I quickly remember that I'm one of the least intimidating people you will ever meet and decide to take a different direction. When you're staring down the barrel of a 70 to 200 millimeter lens with light blasting all around you in a room as silent as the grave, it's easy to become self-aware. I think about what to do next. How long do I need to stand in front of this camera before I'm satisfied? I think about the movie Sin City and the opening scene that inspired this entire experiment. Maybe if I recite some of the lines, that'll help. Maybe if I seem thoughtful. I also know in the film noir style there's always an investigator. So maybe that's what I'll be. Some clean cut cop that doesn't believe a suspect's story. When you watch a film, it's easy to forget the hours of work that went into it. The effort, the sacrifice, but one thing nobody ever really seems to talk about is the solitude. But enough waiting for the results. Let's review the damage. 